Hang on, I was going live to try and see what they're... Uh, so I could talk to them. <laughs> Go live! Do your shit! Pick up your phone! This! <laughs> oh yeah, it's people. Yeah. Yo, pick up your phones! I wanna... I'm trying to talk to them and they're not this getting... Great they're just doing got. the wave thing, fuck it. Do the wave again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want them to I answer. I don't know what the, what the clapping is. I don't know. But my question is, are they really called Parksies? I didn't make that up. I think, like, some Water Parks fans made that up at MTV. Really? And I always called them Parksies, and I always feel like they're laughing at me and not with me when I say Parksies. <laughs> I want to make sure it was uh, not the official name. Um, all right. Well, we're going to make that movie. Let me get to, like, one or two more uh, fan questions. Hi, okay. I'm Mikey, and I was wondering uh, what your favorite song is on Greatest Hits versus a song that you think deserves more recognition. Oh, uh, wait. One second. I had uh, a shout out. Mikey drove here from San Francisco. Damn. Yeah. Where is Mikey? Right there. With, yeah, with the, with, with the yellow hair. Yes. Yeah. You. Wait, where? Wait, where? Oh, my God. I can't do this. I totally forget the question. Watch him all what is the question? <laughs> Favorite song versus like... A song that I think it should be bigger. Hold on. We're going to run it back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No. I'm Ian. No. And yeah, you are. Uh, you think more recognition. Okay, I think I think Snow Globe's probably the best song if I had to do that, but I think Crying Over It All is my favorite and I wish it got more. I think Magnetic is probably the coolest water parks instrumental ever. Um Pearls has some of my favorite vocals. I think Ice Bath is so underrated. Like, I think people look at it kind of the way they look at Zone Out on the last album, where they're like, that's just an interlude. I'm like, it's not. It's actually, like, so hard. Do you think uh, Water Park's underrated? Fuck yeah. Of course I think... Well, I'm, I'm no, live be right honest, now. be honest. Oh, here's the thing. It depends on the context. I think in certain situations, yeah. In other ones... I think it's on par. And that's where I want to be. I want to be, I just want to be rated. I don't want to be overrated or underrated. I just want to be rated. Does that go back to just being grateful and happy for where you are right now? But then, you know, of course, being an ambitious guy and wanting a little more. I guess so. That's like on, on the good days, I feel rated. Of what course. What are the bad days like? Because the bad days are like, oh man. Um, when the, was your last bad day? The last bad day? Like yesterday? It was a bad day. I didn't love what got, it. What got you down? I mean, hmm. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think as an artist, you're always going to have like those like weird insecure days or like days where like your brain is like totally turning on you. But at the right. same time, I also had my flight canceled on me three times coming back from Houston. It was my dad's birthday. You came birth- back to, you came It was, yeah, like last day. night. Oh, wow. Um, and the Father's Day weekend. Father's Day and my dad's birthday. Oh, wow. Both. So yeah. I was like, I got to go. Um... And it got canceled like three times. And so I was already like, eh. And then I was just kind of feeling weird in general. And I was just like, <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, yesterday is one of those days where like, you know, brain wasn't Isn't it fully on my side. There's always one thing. It's always one mm. little thing that bumps mm. you out. And then I don't mm. know if your brain works this way, but then it'll be like a ripple effect. And like, yeah. you're just like, you know, self-sabotaging person. And you're just like, your whole day is ruined. Yeah. Like, like if something annoying happens with like, like a show thing or if I'm trying to record an idea and my stuff doesn't work for like 30 minutes, I'm just like, fuck, never mind, fuck it. Like, then I'm like, then things that wouldn't normally set me off kind of like oh, yeah. are that extra push. Totally. You know? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, but I, th- I think that's kind of normal, but where some, one person might consider that like a bad day, it also leaks into like your... Sorry, one of the work. Can you just look at that? Yeah. What are y'all doing? <laughs> what does that say? He's nuts. What? Hey, you said it. <laughs> Right oh my God. there. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's amazing. You right there. Wait, I gotta get a shot of this Absolutely. the best podcast ever. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so happy. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. One more question. Yes. And then um, we're going to get you ready. Well, you know what I actually want to ask you? Yeah, talk to and, me. And uh, honestly, this is like... Uh, we have a love-hate relationship with producer Ian, who does this show. 
Um, Amy probably knows producer Ian, maybe on some emails. Fuck um, Ian. Where's Ian? I don't know. Who, who is if you had to talk shit to Ian, he would yeah. love that. Ian, you little fuck mouth. Where are you? I'm the first guest and you're not even here. Clearly don't give a shit about your job. Who's Ian's boss? Let's Mike talk Kaplan, to the boss. Yeah. Mike? Mike Kaplan. I think you got to upgrade. Do you want Ian's job? <laughs> yeah. You want Ian? No? All right, never mind. You didn't want it. Um, we'll get one of them. They're good. Look at them. Yeah, we'll time. get the DJ. Hey! Girl. Yeah. Which one of y'all wants the job? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're saying they can't hear me. Um, but uh, usually we like we clear whatever the performance or cover the guest is going to do. Oh, yeah. And Ian, I guess, just never even asked you. So what the hell song are you cool. doing? Yo, so I, wo- I, I was actually thinking about it yesterday, and I didn't come up with anything. And then this morning I woke up with Death Cab in my head. So really? I kind of want to do that. Yeah, Plans is like top 10 in my really? albums, I think. That's top 15 to Very be safe. Very Pacific Northwest of you for a kid from Houston. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I like Death Cab. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, they're, they're just so good. And their lyrics have always like got... Like, actually, they're one of the people, I think, that made me want to write like more vivid or specific lyrics yeah. you know what i mean because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of times with like you know the emo shit you'd be hearing it's very like broad and i always hated that like vague struggle lyrics yeah and i think pop songs always say like it's like you get three chords you see and d and they just whine yeah <laughs> so and that's the thing like def cab just isn't it's actually it's kind of funny because the song I'm gonna play is three chords, but um, no, there's nothing used to be yeah, yeah, no, no, but but the lyrics are just so good, um, and he always like painted such like a vivid thing, and I could see what he was singing. Yeah, and I was like, that's what I gotta do. Is is uh, Death Cab pre crime music? Yeah, actually, yeah, I think. Give me some other names for pre crime. We're gonna actually hopefully songs that like Jesus make you cry. So playlist it. Um. I, can, I mean, I could, here's the thing. I could go through my phone for sure and give you all the pre-cry ones. Like, like I said, those Olivia, uh, Olivia Rodrigo ones for sure. But also what Sarah said, the Death Cab one, it's on that album. I was, oh, I've always yeah. thought, I've been like, you know what? If I had to like die to a song, right. that would Do be one of them. you think about that? I was on a plane one time. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And I'm an idiot. No, no, no. Okay. On planes? Okay. But, go, but, yeah. but I'm also like a moron. I don't know how anything works. Mm. I listen to music. Like, I swear to God, dude, like, I don't know how anything works. Okay. Right? And but you you I don't feel like that. But like there's always like in what we do, we do different things. But there's always like handlers and producers yeah. that like do things for you as an adult mm. that you it's should just, learn. It's so cool. No, fuck that. No, why not? No, no ew. Are you kidding me? Book a flight? Crazy. Why? You know. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I don't know how anything works. So I'm going down to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and it was like the first time I've been there in a long time. And we I see the airport. And I'm mm. imagining like we're gonna fly, yeah. like, you know, land. And we don't, or like we take this drastic turn, we start going over the ocean. Nope. So I'm like, this guy's taking us down. You're like, like this, this is guy it. is gonna take us down. So I. You're like, I believe in God. I believe in all of them. Dude, literally just <laughs> apologize for like everything ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta put a song. What song am I gonna put out? Ooh, that was your first song. Dude, that's, yeah. That's why. Go out, bro. Like, what's the song? I'm gonna no, play? whenever there's turbulence on a plane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I you always. Just, you have a turbulence song. Oh, no, no, no. But what I do is I open my notes app just in case. And because I'm like, you know what? Maybe they'll like find like. What, the phone's going to survive? No, maybe. Maybe. But I, I can, t- like, if there's not when it's like going down, I would probably try and text people and be like, maybe I'll get signal before it crashes. But right. um, if there's like bumpiness and it's kind of like, ooh, I'm not sure about this, I start uh, typing out what I want. Like, like if there's going to be like an album. After the plane goes down, I'm like, all right, this is the track list. This is what it is. Don't give features to these people. These people are cool. <laughs> like, uh, use these demos. If you do edit this like this, because I didn't get to it yet. Uh, Dude, I'm surprised. I have thing. notes like that. But to your point, I don't know if this is what you're talking about. But like, I'm surprised more artists don't have, like, posthumous, like, whether it's wills or whatever. Because mm. I don't know if you feel like posthumous releases. But, you know, look, and if it's, yeah. look, it's, it's, like, if it's helping the family and it's going to the right people, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. But I think about artists sometimes where I'm like, man, like, that's such like a, that's not a finished idea. Yeah. You're just looping it. The thing is, I, I think you just have to approach it like you're hearing their voice memos and not, right. this is an album. Right. And just appreciate it for what as, Yeah, as long as you can, like, go into it with the right expectation, I think that's, like, the best thing you can do. What's your death song? Death song. Um, probably what Sarah said. Or there's there's actually a Motion City song where it's like... Last night things happen in halftime. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's, yeah. Um, oh, they all blend the together, thing is... Though, well, no, no, no. Here's the thing. There's the problem is... Oh, I think it's last night. But there's also... 
Okay, yeah, it is it last is. night. It's, it's a, last it's night. It's a great one because yeah. that's not really off of like the big record. Mm-hmm. I don't think. No. You were also a great death. Those, those are those were my two death songs. I've had those since like 2011, I think. Why was it? Why the Motion uh, City soundtrack? Because it made me cry. Oh, that's really? one. That's one of the the pre cry songs. Is that a full cry? It can be. Okay. If you let it. Okay. Hang around long enough. If you open up your heart. Yeah, right? Let it marinate. And there's no one around you going, this is a sad song. You're like, shut the fuck up and let me feel. <laughs> you know what else is a great death cap song? Cat. Huh. Yeah. reminded me of that. Yeah. Nobody ever talks about that song, though. It's all like walking people in the dark. Ah, a lot of... <laughs> hey, but no shade to that song. That is an incredible no, song. I, uh... Actually, I used to teach guitar lessons back in Houston, and I taught that song. What? Follow You in the Dark? Yeah. Well, the finger picking is what oh, the, the yeah. people had to work on. I could never do that. That's where I stopped on guitar. Mm. Good strummer. I'm, I'm strummer. I wonder if I remember how to play it. It's I haven't done it since like twenty, maybe thirteen. We'll just go live on the radio and watch you do. Yeah, and then watch out. watch me yeah. like. Eh, that's, yeah, exactly. that, that's not it. Fuck. Why didn't the commercials air on time? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need commercials. <laughs> exactly. You don't need I com- am the commercial. When, yeah, I'm the commercial. I can I can talk about a product. You want me to push something? <laughs> we really should. We yeah. really should. Um, all right. Well, cool. Well, um, let's get to the business. We'll talk about this on the radio, but of course, greatest hits is out. You can stream it everywhere. Physical copies. You got to ask that nowadays. Mm. You have vinyl. Well, I just saw it over there. Yeah. Yo. What is this? Delay. Oh. 20 second delay. Hey, will you hold up your vinyl? 20 second delay of what? I don't know. What? What yeah. are you listening to? I don't know. Oh, 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 I'm live. Right here. I just went live for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So shout out so they can hear that. I got you. Mm, yeah. Um, and where do you pick up the vinyl? Because you guys are doing a bunch of in stores. Yeah, so you can get it any of those in stores. We're going to Houston, shout out. Austin, shout out. Um, Orlando. Uh, we're going to the Mall of America. Oh, that's pretty badass. Uh, we're going to Portland, Seattle. Yeah, I love doing in-store stuff because you can, like, I don't know, it's easier to just meet everybody and, like, talk for a second. How's Jersey like you? you a lot of fans yeah, of yeah, we did we did Starlin Ballroom last time we were there. Okay. Um, and uh, I think at that point, that was our biggest headliner. Oh, wow. Yeah. You got a vintage vinyl, man. Iconic store out in Jersey. Actually, Florida. someone tweeted that at us today, like, in response to me putting those other ones up. Totally. Like, I bet a lot of those bands you grew up listening to did in stores. You can like find yeah. them on, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Mike him, actually Mikey was talking to me about, uh, which one was it? I mean, it must've been like a Jersey one or like at least a Northeast one. Which yeah. So Looney Tunes, but you guys have done Looney Tunes. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, yeah, twice. Yeah. yeah. I think. A bunch. Yeah. Um, and then of course tour, right? Yeah. Have you announced? You announced, I think, cities on Twitch with me. Yeah, that's before. right. That's right. We, uh, we had you literally like Nashville, like Austin. Awesome. Yeah, um, um, was great. they were stoked about that too. Though. Oh, they were. Hell yeah. Um, when's that kick off, and where can we get tickets? You can get tickets. At, I'm gonna look at the camera. Yeah, do it, but do it. Okay, do it like it's like a '90s, like late night, um, like sleazy commercial ad. Oh man, like you know, like, do that like to my voice those, like, before death. Power cab? ballad CDs. You know what I mean? Okay, like you mean like a like a like coming a, this fall like that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, and we'll edit it and put like a one eight hundred, you know. We'll put oh, it, yeah. okay, okay. Wait, what was? Oh, where to get tickets? That's right. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what time you have that? a tour coming up, Austin. Did you know? That? Yes. Okay. The A Night Out on Earth tour featuring water parks. <laughs> hey, tell me what you want me. <laughs> coming all the way across America to you, unless you live in Maine, because we've never been there. Pick up tickets today at www.waterparksband.com. See you there. You'd be paranoid, too. There's wow, music. and outro music, too. All right, that's all true. <laughs> that was awesome. Hell yeah. Killer. So you're going to do Death Cab. Mm. Let me see that guitar. That sounded like a real radio spot. Did it? I want to know who, like, historically decided yeah. that that's the radio. That, like, that, like douchebag Chuck E. Cheese announces yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs>